I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to play MSBT and I'm going to save the money for Vegas, but I'm a D-Gen. It's the biggest tournament in the Midwest. It's really hard to say no to. I'm driving out right now. It's Thursday night. I'm going to buy in to play tomorrow, Friday. Um, I wanted to play Friday because usually satellite winners play, which means the field's a little bit softer. So excited to get out there and, and hopefully we uh, have a nice deep run this time. This is like my seventh or eighth uh, MSPT and I've had some nice deep runs, but uh, never cash. Hopefully we uh, run deep here and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself, laugh at poker. You know, I've never had a big smile on my face for losing a thousand dollars like that, but I started off okay. Uh, starting stack was 25K, got up to 30K, just small little wins here and there. And then just went super card dead for like four hours. Nothing could go my way. And the reason I'm laughing is because <laughs> super card dead for four hours, finally pick up a hand, pocket kings, someone raises, I jam for 15 bigs. And of course he has pocket aces. So it's like, sometimes you just gotta laugh because it's just that much bullshit. And it's like, are you kidding me? Whatever. Jesus Christ. Unreal. Now I'm thinking about firing a second bullet because it just feels stupid to drive out here, just be super bored and car dead. Uh, and then, you know, leave so it's like i'm probably gonna just get a hotel and stay there another night and play tomorrow but uh whatever a little frustrated but i after that i can't play i'm not in the mental state so i'm gonna go get drunk and uh, get some good barbecue here at fire keepers yeah i'll uh, see you guys tomorrow All right, well, it is day 1C. I fired my second bullet at the MSPT. I just busted, played all day today, about uh, eight and a half hours. But before we get to the MSPT, we gotta talk about cash game last night. So last thing I told you guys was that I was kind of laughing about my bust out. And I was like, I'm gonna go get drunk. <laughs> I drank a little bit for sure, had some good drinks. So I decided to play cash game. The tables, it was pretty crazy. Everybody was pretty drunk and having a good time. And the game was two, five, 10 with the mandatory $10 straddle. So played a little bit bigger. I bought in for $1,000. First couple hands in, I had pocket kings. I raised under the gun. Someone three bets right to my left for 150. The guy to his left cold called and I was out of position. So I four bet to 600 and it goes jam, re-jam. And uh, my kings ended up holding up, thankfully against those two guys. And we got up to uh, $2,000 pretty quick. And then a couple hours later, uh, I played pretty tight really, even though I was a little buzzed. I, I wasn't gonna play loose and crazy or anything. Basically the next big hand, I had ace eight offsuit from the big blind, the button raised, I called, the flop was eight, seven, two. Uh, I check, he bets, and I check raise, and he calls. The turn's a brick. I bet again, and he calls again. The river is a seven, so it pairs the board. So I have eights and sevens with the ace. I really don't know what he has here, but I bet 350, he called. I showed my eight, and he mucked. So I have no idea what he had. So that was a great pot, because that got us up to about 3,100. We played for about another couple hours, played till 3.30 in the morning, cashed out about 3,100. So that's awesome because guess what? That pays for the MSPT. That's I fired two $1,100 bullets and I basically won 2,100 in cash. So friggin' awesome. We basically free roll the weekend. So that put me in a really good mood. All right, so let's get into some MSPT hands for today. Flight 1C, my second bullet. Basically, I went up and down for a little bit, won a couple hands, lost a couple hands, just around 25K starting stack for a little bit. The first big hand, new guy sat down to my right and he was very talkative, cocky guy. He was kind of the F around kind of guy. I knew he was going to be three betting and being loose and crazy. One hand he raised, 
I had ace five of hearts. I three bet him. He calls. The flop is ace deuce four. He checks. I decided to check back this flop because just in case he does have a bigger ace, I don't want to blow the pot up. And also it protects my check back range so people don't go check raising me all the time knowing that I'm capable of checking top pair. The turn is a three and it gives me the wheel. He bets and I raise. Now my hand's pretty hidden. I shouldn't have any fives in my hand really. As I predicted, he effed around, he jammed all in and I snap called and he only had eight high. So yeah, I was pretty happy with the hand, the way I played it. Played a little tricky and played a little exploitatively against a, someone that I knew who's going to be aggressive and it worked out for me. The next interesting hand, uh, I don't know if I played this right or not. It was kind of similar to the last where I check backed a strong hand on the flop. But this time under the gun raised and under the gun one called and I was on the big blind with ace 10 offsuit. So I just flatted. The flop was ace deuce four. I check and it goes check, check. And the turn is a seven. I'm still out of position against two players that have a very strong range because they raised and called from early position. So I was kind of going into bluff catch mode, which if you have like a marginal ace, like I think it's fine to do. So just keep the pot small and kind of just call bluffs. So I check the under the gun player bets the uh, under gun one folds, I call, River is a queen, and I check, and he bets, and I call. Unfortunately, he has pocket queens and rivers set of queens. Now I'm thinking like, oh God, I should have raised, I should have led the turn. But really, if you think about it, like queens aren't gonna fold that often. So I'm pretty much just saving myself money. I could check raise the turn. That's the only way that I'm gonna get queens to fold pretty much. But I think the way I played it is fine and kind of just got unlucky on the river. But that did hurt us a little bit and knocked us down a little bit. The next big hand, I had pocket sevens in the big blind hijack raises. I call. The flop is four, seven, eight, heart, heart, heart. I check and he checks as well. The turn is a queen. I bet and he jams all in. Even though I don't like the three hearts on the board, I have a set. I don't think I can fold here, so I call. All he has is the ace of hearts. He has ace king. And thankfully he bricks out. And that was our nice big double that got us up to 62,000 in chips. So the hand that I think I really screwed up on is the hijack raised I three bet with pocket jacks. The big blind comes along in cold four bets to 20K. I looked it up, I was supposed to jam pocket jacks there for 60 big blinds, but that feels so crazy to do. I just called, which I did not like doing. The flop's queen seven, eight. He bets 20K on the flop and I fold. It put me in a really crappy spot because I'm basically just set mining with pocket jacks because there's not many flops that I'm gonna like. I figured it was okay because I was in position I could call, but you know, it puts me in a really crappy spot on the flop. So I probably should have just folded tightly or just jammed it all in for 60 bigs. So that one stung, that knocked me down to 40,000 in chips. So about an hour or so later, I pick up ace king suited from the small blind. I have about 35 big blinds at this point. Early position position raises, low jack calls, and then the high jack three bet squeezes. I played with this guy for a little bit. He wasn't getting out of line. He was a pretty solid player, but I have seen him F around a little bit with some lighter hands. So I knew he was very capable of bluff squeezing there. So I have ace king suited from the small blind with 35 bigs. I jam all in. It's a cold four bet jam. Pocket jacks on my left early position jams and the squeezer <laughs> from the hijack. Unfortunately, he just happened to have it this time and he had aces, so uh, very painful. Thankfully, I had them covered, but that knocked me down to 12,000 in chips and that really crippled me. Hearts, baby. That's toast. All right, GG's. <laughs> Made it through dinner break. I grinded for a couple more hours. Just super card dead, short stack, grinding, nothing could get going. And eventually I jammed ace 10 for eight big blinds and ran him to pocket 10. So we busted. Yeah, I, I look back at the hand that messed me up, you know, get, after getting to 62K and then kind of messing up that pocket jacks hand, you know, that ace king hand may have never happened running into aces like that. So. You never know with poker, but overall I had a great weekend. I almost didn't play MSPT at all. I fired two bullets and thank God I played cash and won 2K, so I 
free rolled the weekend. Met up with a lot of great friends I've been playing online with for the last couple of years. Just met a lot of community members out here. As you see, I'm wearing the Team Michigan poker stuff. Nick Mannion was at my table and he recognized me and he's like, oh yeah, nice stuff. And yeah, just playing with a couple of buddies that I know and, and had a really fun time overall. So uh, like, comment, subscribe as always. I do appreciate it. Check out my store. It's in the link below. Thanks for watching guys. Next time I'll see you is in Vegas. So I'll see you guys there.